Okay, so now that we've done our layout, and again, I just have a very, very basic layout, um, we are going to discuss how to utilize our night mode or rendering mode, whatever you want to call it. Um, again, this is not, we're not looking to create a true render here. I'm really just trying to give my, either my client a general idea of what we're trying to accomplish or give my team uh, a good idea of what it is that we're trying to accomplish. Uh, note that I can change the opacity here uh, by clicking on settings. Uh, also note that even though these are path lights, obviously all of our lights shoot upward to start. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead, I'm going to adjust my width and my height, and then I'm gonna rotate. And that's always best practice here is adjust the width and height and then rotate. Um, there is some funkiness that goes on if we rotate and then adjust the width and the height. So always try to do width height and then rotate. So maybe that funkiness, maybe we'll be able to fix that in the future. Um, but right now, width and height first, then rotate, then move it into position, okay? Um, so I'm going to narrow this thing up show it just hitting my queen palm, stretch it out, move it into position. And do the same thing here. Okay, so, so just a very, very basic uh, concept of idea of what we're trying to do. Um, also note that we got the ability to change those colors if you wanted to show them something a little bit different, get these guys excited. Now, again, there, there are a number of you who may never use this, this quote unquote rendering uh, functionality at all. Or what you may do is simply show one part of the house that is quote unquote rendered. And then in order to seal the deal and get a price done very, very quickly, uh, what you may do is go into your uh, top-down view. So you took a Google Earth image and you are going to go to that in order to do the um, full quote. Because again, I, I can drag and drop. I'm not going to render this. The only way I would utilize a top-down view for rendering is if I were trying to show somebody maybe the direction my speakers were going to go. We don't, we don't just have to use this for, for lighting. Uh, we can utilize this for um, audio. Uh, you could, if you got the pro version, you could add irrigation parts if you wanted. Uh, but you know, with, with audio, I can go into quote unquote night mode. And I can show people the direction that, that I want the speakers to, to face. So that's kind of cool. Again, I'm always changing my, my width and height first, and then I'm doing my rotations. So again, just a very general idea of, of where I want those speakers to aim. Um, but again, if I use this top-down view, I can get a, a really quick quote. Let me just get out of night mode. I wanted three aqua beams around this pool. I wanted uh, a couple of transformers. Boom, boom. We're gonna do number of wash, wash lights around these trees. And I can come up with a, with a proposal really, really fast. Uh, by doing it this route. So again, I may only utilize the rendering for, for one small area if I utilize that at all and utilize the top-down view uh, to do my full fast proposal and maybe show where the wiring pathways are. So I'm gonna stop this video and then we'll get into those proposals uh, in the next one.